Hi guys, so uh, welcome back. So now guys, now we're going to solve the next uh, problem in this mock test. So this time the topic would be uh, discrete time convolution of a finite length sequence. So let me read the problem guys. Solve for the convolution of the given finite length sequences x sub 1 of n equals 1 to 1 with the uh, may underline sa 2. And then, uh, and x sub 2n, we have 1, negative 2, 1. Merong underline dun sa 1. So, the underline, guys, signifies no yung uh, similar sa arrow when we do in our lectures. no Yan. So, instead of arrow, sometimes uh, they use the underline symbol to indicate kung nasan yung index 0. Alright. So, we're going to solve the problem, guys. Okay. We're going to perform discrete time convolution. no So, what would be the solution? So this one no so discrete time convolution no so this is for the finite length sequence. Yeah no so uh the easiest way okay of solving problems with regards sa uh, finite length sequence okay is to use the sum by column method. All right. No, so the easiest way again of solving this problem is by using the sum by column method. So what would be the solution? What will be the solution? So uh, the first thing that you need to do is to write the uh, given no finite leg sequence no so uh, vertically and horizontally. So since convolution is commutative, so kahit naman anong mauna okay lang. So we have one, two, and then one. And then we will write here 1, negative 2, and then positive 1. And then, no, so we will just uh, put a grid on this one. Okay. Yeah, some, some, some sort of a grid. Now, guys, no, so we will multiply. So, bale 1 to 1 multiply by 1. So, we have 1 goes uh, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is simply 2. And 1 times 1 is simply 1. Nakuha, guys? Yes, yes. So, for the next row, so negative 2 times 1, we have negative 2. Negative 2 times 2, we have minus 4. Okay, negative 2 times 1, we have negative 2. Okay? Yes, yes. Now, for the third row, so similarly, so multiply din natin, we have 1, 2, and 1. Alright? So, that's how you perform the... Uh, that's how uh, that's the first step no nung actually nung sum by column method so the next step is we will divide it by columns i by ano diagonals okay so gawin tayo ng diagonals guys okay and then for each diagonal okay we will get the sum so actually this is the result of the convolution of x of n okay convolution with x2 of n okay so, what will be the answer? So, the result will also be a finite length sequence, of course. So, for the first diagonal, yung nasa loob niya ay 1. So, you'll just simply write, you'll just simply write 1. Okay? So, isi ko po, no 1 po yun. Okay? And then, next, we have negative 2 plus 2. So, that is 0. Okay? And then, we have 1 minus 4 plus 1. So, that is negative 2. Next, we have 2 plus negative 2. We have 0. Okay, and finally, 1 lang po yung nasa dulo. So, we have 1. Okay, so, this would be the result. However, guys, no, uh, this will not be complete no, without us indicating okay, nasaan ang ating index 0. So, madalas doon din nagkakamali yung mga students, guys. Alright. So, gagamitin natin yung given. no. So, uh, alam natin na yung x sub 1, yung index 0 niya is nasa 2. So, basically, this is the index 0. So, if this is the index 0, do you agree that this is index negative 1 and this is index positive 1? Right? Yes. Now, for the second signal, guys, okay, the uh, arrow supposed to be is nandito. So, therefore, ito yung index 0. So, if this is index 0, guys, correct ba na this is index 1, positive 1, and this is index positive 2? Yes, yes. So, what you need to do is you just add, okay, yung uh, lowest index first. So, ano ba yung mga mabababang index dito? So, we have negative 1. Okay, and then 0. So, you just add it. So, the result is negative 1. So, basically, this one is negative 1. Okay? So, yung malaki naman, in this case, is positive 2. Okay, we will add kay positive 1. So, meaning to say, guys, no, yung dulo natin, that would be 3. 
And then you just count up or count down. Okay, so this is zero, this is one, this is two, and this is three. So pag nagmatch, correct, it means that the index zero is supposed to be here. So nandito yung arrow. So in the exams, no, so you can write arrow, you can also write underscore. Okay, for the uh, element that you indicate that to be index zero. All right? Yes? Yes. Okay. Now, for the homework problem. Okay, no? So, let me read the homework problem. The cross-correlation operation is related to convolution by performing the convolution operation with a time-folded version of the other signal. So, yung R of X, Y of N is equal sa X of N convolution with Y of negative N or the folding, may time folding kay Y of N. Suppose two finite length sequences are given, X of N is 1, 2, 3 and Y of N is 1, 2, 3 also. Solve for the cross correlation of the two signals R of X sub Y, N. Alright, no, so that is your homework problem. So for the answers for the homework problem, guys, guys, just comment your answers. And see you guys in the next video. Bye!